I really love borders. Once the Kazimbula Bridge across the Zambezi River, business is stuck. The busiest uh, border. And that is why they decided to build the Zambia Botswana Kazungula Bridge. At the border with Botswana to become operational as soon as possible. As you know, borders are defined to mark the separation between countries, regions, or administrative centers. For me, what makes borders interesting is the course they take, where they pass through the natural sites that humans set as a border between those two regions. And in most cases, the history behind the definition of those borders. Most of the borders in our world are really well defined. I mean, most of them. And because of that, you probably know where you are and where you would be if you crossed a border. I mean, this is what happens when you have two borders. But what if you have three? Tri points or a triple point is a geographical feature where boundaries of three distinct parts, I mean regions or countries, Meet. Talking about countries only, there are more than 150 tri points in our world. I mean, obviously, this depends from the source where you search from. As many tri points that exist, there are two in particular that intrigue me. Well, these two right here. Yes, those two. This is the almost a quarter point place in our world. Okay, I've been talking about borders for a while, but where's the bridge? <laughs> One second, guys. This quarter point, even though it's not a real quarter point, let's refer to it like this, involves four countries. Zambia to the north, Namibia to the west, Botswana to the south, and Zimbabwe to the east. Botswana and Zambia may look like the lucky ones here because they share a border with the other three countries, and, well, Namibia and Zimbabwe will be like... Almost, 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 oh no. But in reality, such a, such a small border, with like less than 200 meters, may brought some problems to both countries. To have trades between them of products or people, they could only rely on two things. Obviously, on the roads and the infrastructures from their neighbors, or on a ferry that connects both countries, but it's a small, not that safe, kind of strange ferry. And yeah, despite sharing a border, this is not good economically or socially, let's say. Well, that was until now with the Kalingula Bridge. Back in 2007, both governments of Zambia and Botswana announced the construction of a bridge between both countries that will connect both margins. In theory, this bridge will bring an economical growth not only to the region, to the both towns in both parts of the, the country, but to the whole country in general. And 13 years later, here we have the Kalingula Kal Okay. And 13 years later, here we have the Kazangola Bridge. The Kazangola Bridge, named after the town of Kazangola, will then connect both countries not only by car, but also by train. I mean, but, but isn't this like just a normal border between both two countries? I mean, there are hundreds if thousands of them in borders. Yeah, but what intrigues me here is the way they had to build the bridge. You see, to build the bridge, you could not touch any of the Zimbabwe's or Namibia's territory because yeah, that will have bring a lot of problems to both countries. So the bridge only had like 100 meters to be built. So fortunately for both countries, that part was good to build the bridge. But as you can see, the bridge has to curve. 
to serve its purpose and obviously to cost the less and, and to have the least environmental impact in the region. I mean, can you imagine yourself like riding on the on the bridge and you look to the right, you see three countries, you look to the left, you see other three countries and then you are passing between two countries. I mean, it's crazy, right? <laughs> the Kazungula Bridge, I, th I believe, will open really soon to the public. I mean, it was expected to be to open like this month. After 250 million dollars of construction, Ooh, that's a lot of dollars. Jesus. The bridge will be more than 900 meters long and will have 18 meters wide and will have a railway passing in the middle of the two traffic lanes. And we'll have also a pedestrian lane. I really enjoyed like doing the video and exploring this theme for you guys. I mean, it's really, I think it's a really unique topic here. Um, and I believe most of you already knew about this quadri point, but the bridge will bring another view of this part. And, and I think it will remain as a unique feature in our world. So geographers of the world, I hope you support me on, on YouTube by clicking the subscribe button and also on Instagram where I'm more active and where I post about everything. So I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next stop, geographers of the world.